Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with Zoya, Jordan, Abby, and Tina. I'm going to do a smushy and then I'm going to stamp some Easter designs. I'm going to start this one off here with my Nail Teaks Formula 2. And let that dry completely before I move on to the next step. And I'm going to be applying this Zoya polish called Jordan. It's a very light pink um, cream polish. And it's on the first coat, it's a little streaky and whatever, but since I'm doing a smushy, I'm not really worried about it. I'm not looking for full coverage. I just needed a base to start my smushy on. And I picked this one to use out of the group. So I'm not really worried if it's not full coverage or, you know, has any bald spots, really. And I'm going to top it off with some posh top coat to get it to dry so that I can do my smushy. As you can see, there's shadows and places where it's not, you know, very opaque, but it's a very light color and I'm sure with the second coat it would have been perfect. I'm using this new uh, nail or skin barrier and I got this one off of Wish. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name and I don't really know what I think of it just yet. The application is okay. I, um, I'm of course used to my liquid latex that I have in a old Sally Hansen bottle with a big fat wide brush. So this was a little tricky for me but not too bad. It does have a fairly wide brush and it goes on quite easy. I will um, let you know what I think about it here later on in the video when we go to remove it. I'm going to be doing my smushy with Jordan, Abby, and Tina, and these are all from Zoya. I think it was from their spring collection. And I've got me a little tape down on my mat because I'm a neat freak and I didn't want to put polishes straight on my mat. <laughs> so I'm just putting little daubs, little dabs of each color and there's no rhyme or reason when you do a smushy. You just, you know, put some of each color down and, and do your smushy. And I'm using my uh, Galaxy Stamper or Starry Night Scamper, or whatever you want to call it, um, to do this smushy. I figured it was nice and soft, and that would be a good, good one to use. And I'm just going to clean up the excess off of that stamper onto my lint roller, and voila, it's clean. Now for taking off the nail barrier. Some of it comes off pretty good, and then some of it not so much. It's um, misbehaving and being quite finicky. Um, I will give this another try. I'm not really pleased with it in this application, but I think I'm going to give it another try and see if maybe I need to go a little thicker with it. I really did love that it didn't stink. It had no smell. So I'm going to get the rest of it off with my little tape trick like I do when I stamp. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup with some acetone and my cleanup brush. Actually, I said acetone. I meant nail polish remover with acetone in it. <laughs> Get that all cleaned up. There we go, we got it pretty much cleaned up. I'm gonna top it off with some posh top coat and let it dry down before I do my stamping. Give me a nice smooth surface for me to do my stamping. And it really does smooth out the smushy. Kind of makes the colors just blend, or the appearance of blending together better. And I could have totally left this just like it, but I'm not. I'll be using this You Are Beautiful 08 Plate, my Born Pretty Black Stampin' Polish. 
Fabio Nail Scraper and my Monocle Stamper. And here I'm pulling the little words that say Happy Easter. And I'm going to put that across my nail, on my middle nail. And we're going to head on and do this full image. And it's got just little Easter bunnies and stars. And I'm going to change over to my old AliExpress stamper. Putting that on my ring finger. I love the little bunny images. Turn this plate around. Turn that light off because it's not playing nice with my plate. And I'm going to use this kind of medium sized cross. And I'm going to put that one on my pointer finger. Cleaning off that plate. And I'm going to use this little bitty cross on my pinky finger. You can see that stamper is all scratched up on the bottom. Kind of hard to see through it. And I'm going to go back and use the full image again. And I'm going to put that on my thumb. we got all the stamping done. I'm going to use a piece of tape to do a little bit of cleanup. And this one cleans up really nice with the tape. It's just coming off like a dream. I only had a couple of fingers I needed to clean up anyway. Zip it on through this. And voila! We're going to top this manicure off with some posh top coat. A little blurry, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. You can see those little bunnies. And here's my swatch photo. I hope you liked this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. 